Hey there friends, it is me, HL Mod Tech, and I have got a sweet extension for your Project Lead the Way Flight and Space Module. Quick shout out also to my trainers, Terry, John, it was great being with you. Friends, this is called an Oculus Rift. It's a virtual reality headset and I bought it for a 3D modeling module, which would be part of your design and modeling if you wanted to use it there. But now I've got a way to use it in flight and space. So my friends, let me show you how this works. First things first, the tool that we're going to use is called Mission ISS. When you hit start, you can get in your headset. You need to make sure you have your little hand grips turned on, which I had already bumped the button so that they're ready. And soon it launches the cool little introduction or trailer to Mission ISS. So when this launches, you are in the headset, and what you can see here on the screen is flying underneath my feet. Everywhere I turn and look, I can see this massive space station, and in a moment, I'll be in it. Now, you may have students that feel uncomfortable with this. I recommend if they tell you they do not like it, you should let them uh, step aside, because of all the ones I do, this is the one where I sometimes feel uh, that I lose uh, my bearings. Please select Training, Mission, or Explorer Mode. So on the screen it shows me arrows to look to this side and then I can aim at the one and I just click to pick. Now I'm going to tell the kids to go into training. I've done this so I'll try and make it go as quick as I can for you, but I'm going to show you how it works. Welcome to the International Space Station. Reach up with your left hand and hold down the X button to reveal your tablet computer. The tablet shows a schematic of the ISS. In addition to the layout of the modules, your current location and orientation are indicated by the yellow triangle on the map. So you can see right here is my location, and she's just walking me through. You move yourself through the station. The touch thumbsticks control both your forward and backward movement. Forward, and rotation. backward, this the is right my rotation. The turns you either left or right by 30 degrees. So you can Give just tap, tap, tap. All right, so there's my turning right by 30 degree chunks, left the by left 30 degrees. controls your momentum. Now I want to go Push that up direction. The and you'll move forward in whatever direction you're looking. Try it now. It's kind of neat that it's where now you look. Now use the left thumbstick to get to the other end of the module. So if I look up, I start to move upwards. If I look straight ahead, I go straight through. You don't want to get too much momentum because it'll go too fast and you uh, won't end up where you want. Keep moving through the station, starting with the destiny module. This is where it can start feeling really practice, funny. You'll be able to use both thumbsticks at the same time to move yourself quickly where you want to go. So now I'm in this area it's here. It's time to learn how to move yourself through the station. Without any gravity, you'll need to use handbars to push and pull yourself through the station. Find a blue bar on your left or right then grab it and keep holding on. While you hold on to it, pull forward slowly and release the grip button to let go and propel yourself. The faster you pull, the faster you'll move. Don't pull too fast. Most seasoned astronauts use a light touch on the handbars. Try again. And this time, pull yourself quickly and let go of the grip button near the end of your hand motion. Good. You can find bars in the middle of modules, or push and pull yourself off desks, equipment, or the walls themselves. Try putting your hand on a wall and press the grip button to grab on. Bring so your see hand how it pushes your me away to travel forward. Push your hand away to move backward. Let go of your grip and open your hands while you move. Your momentum will push you through the module. With some practice, you'll be able to use both hands to move yourself quickly and accurately. I'm still working on this one it right looks now. Like some cargo is loose and is blocking the hatch to node 3. Take the cargo bag and put it in storage. Remember to press the grip button while you touch the bag and keep holding the button to hang on to it as if the bag is really in your hand. Great. 
you can use the same technique to grab and move most objects on the station. Go ahead and carry the bag forward into the module. Which you can see I already did. Now secure the bag. You can leave it in the empty space with the rest of the cargo. Things have a tendency to get loose on station, so it's important to make sure nothing is lost. Well done! Congratulations! So it right there, like ready to I have the been mission. passed. Now that you know how to move and work in microgravity, explore the other modules. And, to learn more about anything you see on the station, raise your right index finger to point at it while holding the grip button on your controller. I don't know if you saw my knees if buckle a right there. Or a video related to that object exists, but that was one of those times where you just kind of lose where up and down you. is because of how you're Point moving inside at least this. Two seconds, and the photo or video will appear. To close the image or stop playback. So see how those light up? Outside the window. If I pull the trigger, the trigger button, it gives me the info in a, a little video. So there she's teaching me what it's like to snack on the ISS. So at this point, students could move all throughout here and just explore, and or they could go back and actually do the training missions station, where you learn how to do things right that the astronauts actually do while, while on the, the ISS. Controller. If either a photograph or a video related to that object exists, the object will appear highlighted in front of you. Keep pointing at it for at least two seconds, and the photo or video will appear. Huh. All right, my friends, so there you see, this is like being in the International Space Station. An incredible thing that you can add to your flight and space modules. You just got to write a grant to get it. If you write a grant for one of these, do make sure you need to get updated computers that can handle the VR. Uh, that is an important step that I had to take care of myself. Uh, it is incredible, and there are many other places you can use it if you just check out the videos that are in my YouTube channel. Friends, if you found this useful, please hit the like button. If you got a question, comment, or a suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button, and last but not least, hit the notification bell if you want to be the first to know when this brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.